Hello, it is Topical Tuesday, August 24th, 2021. Steve Cypress here, and I think the world uh, is watching. Can't help it. Anytime I dare to turn on the television or, uh, or social media or anything, all you hear about is this outrageously horrible uh, way that the United States is pulling out of uh, yet another losing war. Uh, clearly, we're not, still not, even though we've been doing it for about I don't know, 70 years or so. We're just not good at this losing war stuff. Uh, this one is especially bad. Uh, and it just makes me think, you know, I'm always thinking business, of course. And I'm thinking, man, you know, some people run their business this way. Where the U.S. says ridiculous things like, I mean, I don't know what they're actually doing. But the way they talk is, it's cr if that's how they're doing things or planning or that's how they feel, it's crazy. Hopefully they're just... They're lying on the outside and they're actually doing stuff because they say things like, yeah, we're trying our best to get everybody out of there. Or we're, this is, I love this one. We're going to get everyone out of there who wants to leave there. Like, re, like who, what the heck American or, uh, or Afghanistan, uh, uh, Afghan citizen who helped out the U.S. in a war would possibly want, oh no, I'd like to stay in a country run by terrorists who want to kill me. Like, but, but the line is, oh, anyone who wants to leave, we're going to get them out. Like, that's just setting up the excuse of, like, well, you left, you know, 15,000 people behind. Well, they must not have wanted to get out. Like, or, you know, you just come to the airport. Oh, but it's not safe to come to the airport. Or the airport is secure. One foot outside of it is a kill zone. But the airport itself is secure. That's like me saying, you know, my house is secure. I, I invited some people over for a get together and they go, well, the thing is, uh, you know, we can't really get into your house. I'm like, why not? I'm in the house, the house is locked, the house is secure. Yeah, but right outside the house is this murderous gang of killers that wants to kill us if we try and come into that, you know, you know, but the house is secure. I mean, it's all this really horrible statements. It's so embarrassing coming out of the US. I'm just thinking, you know, there, there are people who run their business this way. Uh, when it comes to customer service, they, they make excuses and say things like, well, uh, you know, our coaches and consultants constantly say stuff that way. Well, we help everyone that really wants to get help. You know, people that actually did the work got the results. Like, really, it, why is it up to them? If you're the coach, uh, you're, you're just admitting or you're, you're, you're operating under the premise that you're a horrible coach or you're an inept coach. You can't get people to take action. So you blame it on them if they don't take action. What the heck coach of a of a team sport would ever say something like that. Well, I called all the right plays. It's just that they wouldn't execute them. Okay, well, even if that's true, the fact they wouldn't execute them is because you're not, you didn't coach them well. You didn't motivate them. You didn't train them to execute properly. I mean, you know, again, uh, if you're blaming anybody else, which is another thing, uh, all we're doing is blaming everybody. Like, well, you see, it was the previous administration had this plan and there's no way I could change it. Really, you change every single other plan they had. Every other policy they had in place, suddenly this one, you're just making it, who cares? And who cares, right? The proper leadership answer is, well, the previous administration had a crappy plan in place, so we changed it and made it better. Not therefore it's their fault, and it's the fault of the people if they can't get to the airport, and it's the fault of the, whatever, it's just blaming everybody. Oh, and it's the fault of the, uh, the Afghan citizen soldiers that we left all those billion dollars worth of state-of-the-art military equipment with uh, it's their fault that they lost the battle and gave up all the stuff and caused all the chaos like i don't know uh, that that's no way to run a business no way to run a country no way to run anything right so you know uh, that speech i saw a clip of it where biden said something like the buck stops with me but then he went on to blame everybody else like i know business people that do that you say the buck stops with me but you know the vendor got the stuff late and it wasn't the quality it was supposed to be and customers didn't understand the offer and that's why they didn't buy and my website builder didn't get the thing up in time and about stop it no excuses no mealy mouth no uh you know it's another now they say like uh oh uh please terrorists let us stay there till we get our people up. no you don't beg your suppliers to please get you the stuff if they don't get you the stuff you get it somewhere else you say to the supplier either you get me that stuff by this date or you get it to the customer by this date, or I get somebody who will, period, and you're fired, and I'll sue you, and whatever. Like, there's no, 
You don't just tell the customer, well, you see, my delivery man just didn't get it there in time. Like, that's the way it is. You know, no, get another delivery man. Like, be results-oriented, what I'm, what I'm saying here, right? Uh, all I hear about this, uh, this disastrous surrender and getting out of Afghanistan is excuses, uh, no accountability, uh, just weakness. Like, that's no way to run a country, no way to run a company. No way to run anything. Every one of your customers matters. Every one of your suppliers matters. Every one of your partners, your, your joint venture partners matters. Uh, every one of your, uh, your employees matters. Everyone matters. Everything matters. No excuses. No mealy mouth. No blaming. Uh, no embarrassing debacle and horrifying uh, activities taking place while you're sitting there making excuses and blaming other people or just not getting it done. Like, get it done. So if anything comes out of this, uh, as far as business-wise, out of this embarrassment in our latest uh, uh, losing war effort, uh, it's that next time you think of making excuses as a business owner or blaming somebody else for your failure to get results, or you blame your customers for the fact that they didn't get the results they're supposed to from your product or your service, like catch yourself and go, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. Remember that video Steve Cypress made? Am I acting like the U.S. did when we were horribly, ineptly pulling out of Afghanistan? No, I refuse to do that. I'm going to take responsibility. I'm going to be results-oriented. I'm going to get it done, period. I hope that's the lesson you take from this embarrassing debacle that the U.S. is pulling, not to mention on our allies, right? All our allies are like, what are you doing? There's not just U.S. citizens there. There's citizens from all over the world that you asked to come help you, and now you left them there. I mean, all things are just horrible. So when it comes to your business, don't do that. And that's it for Topical Tuesday, August 24th, 2021. I'll catch you back here again tomorrow on Worldwide Wednesday. Thanks for being here today. I'll catch you tomorrow over and out. Bye-bye.